Hello, everyone. Welcome to Esoteric Detective's new show, Fact or Fiction, with me, Robert Kiviet. I've been investigating UFOs, aliens, ghosts, unexplained mysteries like Bigfoot, Greek conspiracies, for most of my career. But I have to tell you, these days on the internet, things are getting extremely crazy. People are claiming to do research into these type of things, but really all they're doing is posting a video or a photo they find interesting, but they're not really following through and doing any of the research required. We are going to explore things like never before, see things like never before, and inform you like never before. We begin with a breaking or trending story concerning hacked emails that have somehow revealed there may be something called a shadow government or something called the seventh floor group that controls our political system, maybe even our world leaders. Considering that most of the hacked emails we've all been hearing about come from the account of John Podesta. Podesta is probably the number one insider government guy over the last 15 to 20 years who really is trying to push the UFO subject right in front of the masses and say, where's the evidence? He was a chief of staff for the Clinton administration. He worked in the Obama administration. And now he's running the Hillary Clinton campaign. This is a guy who believes all UFO secrets should be released. Maybe this shadow government or seventh floor group is like the MJ-12 group rumored to control UFO documents and UFO secrets. Adding to the intrigue is that Hillary Clinton, if she becomes president, is promising to release all UFO documents or any evidence suggesting that we are being visited by extraterrestrials. Now, I know here at Esoteric Detective, we've done stories on Hillary maybe having a body double or Hillary maybe staging some kind of a speech with a green screen. But probably one of the most interesting parts of the Hillary Clinton mystery is some of the video being taken of her where she seems to have some kind of either demonic possession taking over her or some kind of you know strange behavior even maybe having some kind of black eyes. There's even video of her having some effect on people all around her. Now, there are researchers out there, I won't name them, who actually do lectures by the thousands, over seven hours, describing this theory of world domination by these Dreco, or let's just call them reptilian aliens. As much as I don't want to believe this, there is some interesting information out there that suggests there may be some truth to it. This all leads me to a truly troubling story trending heavily the past 24 hours concerning the mysterious and suspicious death of a UFO researcher and conspiracy speaker named Max Spires from England, who is actually a classmate of Hollywood actor Orlando Bloom. His family is convinced he was killed due to what he was investigating, mainly due to an ominous text message this victim, Max, sent to his mom and a strange black liquid Max's pals say he vomited before dying. Since this touches on my area extremely personally, I mean, I'm a UFO researcher, network TV producer, spent my entire life in this area. I don't want to believe that governments or secret cabals are trying to kill us for exposing what may be true about aliens and UFOs. I'm going to stay on this case. I'm going to talk to the family. I'm going to find out what cases Max was working on, which could have led to his early demise. I'm also going to look into those cases we've all heard about for years, where many scientists, first the SDI defense system scientists in the late, I would say early to mid late 80s and then into the 90s, and more recently even strange deaths occurring around planetary scientists that no one seems to be able to explain. We're going to get into these stories and follow up Max's case in our next episode.